Hello, I'm Ron Clark. Today we will be doing the six paths of Hod. That's three hidden paths, a planetary path, a zodiacal path, and a mother letter. So it's quite a, uh, an array. So our first hidden path today is the path from Kether to Hod. Okay. I, I, infinite I, all encompassing I. And I look down towards Hod, way down towards Hod, almost a physical manifestation of Hod. And I descend, I bring the eye into Hod, and I fill Hod with the eye. The eye becomes me, me, Ron, and Hod, where I decide what I will do, how I will feel, what I will feel. Think I becomes me. And I look up to Kether. Oh, and I reach up. Me falls away. I pure. The essence of that path is how I becomes me, and how me is ultimately dependent on I. Our second hidden path is the path from Chokmah to Chod. Now this is one of my favorite paths, one of my two most favorite paths and it crosses the Alafresh crossing. So, Chokmah. Hmm, Chokmah. Realm of essential meaning. All essential meanings here in Chokmah. All of them expressing themselves. All in Chokmah. Everything has meaning. And I look down to Chod. And I see there a reflection of my meaning, my perception of meaning in my intellect. And I descend. Oh, I descend into Chod. And here is the Aleph Gresh crossing this point of balance where essential meaning is balanced in all things, and I descend into Chod. Essential meaning, oh, and I bring to Chod the gift of wisdom, of knowing, of being able to perceive essential meaning. It all lands here in Chod, where my intellect, my mind, can perceive essential meaning in all things. The wisdom of Chokmah helps me decide what is right for me, for me. Oh, and Chokmah, me, I per perceive essential meaning in Chod. Oh, everything means something. Everything makes sense. It's with this wisdom that I decide. Mm, and I climb back up to Chokma. Ah, oh, yes. I see how essential meaning is in everything. Chokma. And I bless.
bless my heart with the wisdom of Hakma. Oh, I see here in this path how the wisdom of Hakma influences all of my mental processes, all of my thinking, all of my deciding in Hod. Now, the third hidden path is from Tiferet to Hod, from my individual self to this aspect of my personality. So, Tiferet. Oh, my solitary self. In the universe of solitary selves, all here in Tiferet. All here in Tiferet, and I look down to my Hod. Oh, and I want to bring something. Oh, I descend into Hod so intentionally. Oh, into my Hod. I bring with me oh, the sense of knowing. Oh, in Hod, the sense of knowing things, not of analyzing things, but of knowing things. It all comes down here for me in a heart, this gift from Tiferet of knowing, simply knowing. It's my instinct, my intuition. I know things here in a heart. It helps me navigate this world of all these influences here in Hod, me is wise, it knows, it simply knows here in Hod. Oh, and I rise back up to Tiferet, to the basis of who I am is wrong here in Tiferet. My individuality. Mm. This path reveals to me how much Tiferet, my individual self, plays a part in my instinct, in my intuition, and in my ability to just simply know things. Mm. Okay, our next path is a planetary path from Gebura into Chod, here entirely on the, path, the Pillar of Severity. Uh, the planetary path is Mercury. Okay. I'm in Gebura my place of strength and power, the power that only I possess here in the universe, my contribution to the universe here in Gebura. I am so powerful and strong. And I look down on my hod, forcefully, powerfully, I descend into hod, with all of my power is communicated into Hod by Mercury. Ah, oh, here is my strength in Hod, my power to decide, my power to say yes or no in Hod comes from my strength, my power in Gebura. I am alive with this power and I wield this power to decide for myself, for myself, is strong here in Hod. And I climb back up to the Bura, pass along this path of Mercury ever so quickly and clearly and succinctly. I am back in my place of power. Here in Hod, and I 
look down to hoard, and I see that my power communicates clearly and strongly into my self. But here I am in your viewer now, my face of strength. Huh. I see how the path of my, the, the power of my Gebura self communicates itself very directly and hold very quickly and succinctly. Yes. Okay. My next path is from Yesod to Chod. And this is the path of Capricorn, ruled by the planet Saturn. So, Yesod. The realm of significance where everything is significant and I feel everything, I touch everything, I smell everything, I see everything, I hear it all. It's such a beautiful place where everything has significance. Significance. And I look down to Chod, to my Chod, and I descend into Chod. And I feel all the significance that surrounds me. And I have my power, my ability to determine what touches me and what I touch. <sighs> There's a bit of trickster here. The surprises and the humor of it all. <laughs> It's all so funny, really. I take it so seriously, yet it is not serious. But it is serious. Here in Hod, I decide, me, what is serious and what is not serious. And I laugh. Ah, and I'm joyous in the splendor of it all. Return to Yesod, where it is all so significant, all filled with significance and beauty. Yesod. And I learned here from this path to not take myself so seriously all the time. Yes, Capricorn, yes. So, our final path for today is a mother letter of Mem, of water. It comes from Netzach over to Hod, from resonance to dissonance. I start in that sock. Oh, green, living net sock. Oh, I'm filled with energy here, vibrant energy as I resonate with everything, and everything resonates with me. I am touching everything, and everything touches me. Oh, yes, it's all so fluid and vibrant. And I pass over to Hod, and the fluency, the vibrancy, starts to diminish as I reach Hod. And in Hod, oh yes, I say, wait, wait, wait a minute. Oh, I am me, Ron. I am not other. I am me, Ron. And other touches me but I touch it, and I say how much it can touch me here in Hod. Ah, it flows in 
into me, mm. flows into me from Netzach. Oh yes, it keeps flowing, but here is where the flowing stops. I am the vessel for the flow. I am the vessel, and with it, I determine, I determine what I feel, how I feel, what I think, how I think, and that just multiplies the universe a million, billion, trillion, infinite number of times. Oh, it's so splendorous here. Oh, so splendorous when I decide, when I exercise my will here in Chod. Oh, yes. I am the one who says me wrong. So close to manifestation. So close, I wrong me. Oh, I am the king. I am the ruler of my hood, ruler of everything that comes into my realm of awareness. I determine what it does, how it affects me. Oh, and I travel back to Netzach along this path, this fluid path of influences. Oh, and I am back in Netzach where it just flows, flows. Oh. And I see by this path Hmm. how the resonance balances for me with the dissonance and how without the dissonance I just flow and I have no boundaries. But here in Hod, I establish my boundaries and I am more firmly myself in Hod. Hmm. So be it. Okay. Next week will be the seven paths of Malkuth and the end of these um, meditations, if you will. Okay, so till then, bye-bye.